After two days, 400 miles and eight hours of driving, we finally made it to Glasgow. It was a Saturday night, so I booked a table beforehand. The hotel. Your destination is on the right. We checked into our gorgeous hotel before heading off for our first meal in Scotland. First restaurant of the trip, The Finisterre, a casual restaurant bar specialising in local, seasonal and sustainable seafood. I was super excited. We started with some Scottish oysters, which was so good. Then we tried the monkfish scampi, scallops and the fish soup of the day. The next day we went for a wonder and ended up at Coco House and I finally got to try fluffy Japanese souffle pancakes. I'm super late to the party, I know. We tried the matcha and red bean and they were so good. Oh, so fluffy, look at that. I expected them to be just a mouthful of air, but actually they had some substance. Mm. Mm. Then we wandered over to check out the Clydeside Distillery which is on the River Clyde and a short walk from Kelvin Grove where we stayed. Hey guys, so I'm at the Clydeside Distillery and we are not doing a tour but we're going to go in and do a whiskey flight and try some whiskey so let's go! limited edition ones as well that they're not going to be making anymore. This one is from a port. On site they have a shop to browse and a cafe where you can try different whiskey flights. Chris did the Plimsoll and I did the Moonraker and they were amazing at telling us about the whiskies we were trying. So, so underneath each glass we have a number yep. which corresponds to the number on the main menu. Yep. So we start off with Aden which is on the west coast. Um, which has a bit of an islandy uh, texture to it, but it's also from the lowlands. We then go back to Glasgow, about 20 minutes from here, at Alcantosha, with a 12 year old. Um, our third we go up to Speyside, so it's a bit more grassy, a bit heavier. Yep. And then lastly we have Buna Haven, which is from Isla, um, which is your smoky whiskey. It's not peated, but it does have a smoky taste to it, just because peat's on the island and it takes in from the coastal air and things like that as well. What does it smell like? That's sweet. Strong on this one. Really strong. Donkey's gonna do his whiskey tasting. What do you think? <laughs> Very strong. For dinner, we managed to get a last minute booking at the Gannet. This was our favourite meal of the trip. The food was amazing and the service was excellent. Each dish had like a little twist that was delicious and a little surprise and we really, really enjoyed our meal here. The tacos, which are these two, have a filling of pickled herring, pickled vegetables and a sweet Sicily creme fraiche.
Scottish oysters. Guys, we got the Laron for you. This is 100% Zarello. This is our South African white bottle for a moment of silence. Cherry strawberry notes from Pinot. Smoked eel along with ox tail and ox tongue. And this is a beef tongue. Thank you. Turkey note, French, and Armenian as well. Okay. And it's, it's, there is a nice little hole, but the pizza head monkfish. This is served with a white onion puree and a smoked dashy buttermilk. Um, you have uh, great plummy notes as well as a nice little oak and vanilla to it as well. Loin of red deer from Glen Fetchy, which is around the Balmoral area. This is your Cavados, uh, which is a pity man sign. This is your cheese course. So we've got a, a blue murder whipped mousse oh. with some pickled plums. A strawberry and cream fresh mix with some Perthshire strawberries, which have been soaked in an elderflower vinegar. If you like a sort of muscari um, port, but also quite jammy as well. Lemon and almond sponge served um, with a, a blackberry gel and a black currant leaf ice cream. The next day we went to check out Kapow for lunch. An Asian inspired menu with a small sharing plate concept. Cheers! The scallops were massive and they tasted amazing. items were the salt and Sichuan pepper oyster mushrooms which are crispy and these corn ribs with salted coconut shrimp and lime they were so good. I had a good mushroom so um fresh yeah, that's so funny. Crispy. Oh my gosh this chicken is so crispy. Then after a quick snooze, we headed over to the Kelvin Grove Cafe for some pre-dinner cocktails. It's a gorgeous building with original features restored both inside and out. Ooh, we got a mojito, a pina colada, and a strawberry and basil smash. For dinner we headed over to the super popular Oxen Finch which also has a tapas style sharing plate concept.
day we went to Tubby's which claims to have 81 slushy flavours. It's located in a petrol station on the south side of Glasgow and was only a short drive from Kelvin Grove. They also have lots of American sweets, ice creams and desserts as well as a sugar free slushy selection. I hadn't been able to book Crab Shack so we went to try our luck as a walk-in. Luckily it was still pretty early for dinner so we managed to get a table. They have a regular menu and a special board. Everything we had was so good, I can see why it's on every best seafood in Glasgow list. That crab was a mission to eat though. Then for dessert we wandered over to Shin Fu Tan bubble tea and more jiggly pancakes. Well what did you get Dunks? You got bubble tea Jiggly pancake. trip to Glasgow is complete without a visit to Tantrum Donuts. It's on every Glasgow must try list and is a donut lover's paradise. They do fluffy brioche donuts, old fashioned donuts and even vegan ones. Check out my donut! I got a salted honey glaze. What did you get Dom? Ooh, jam, powdered and jam brioche. Mine's brioche too. Another must try location is Loop and Scoop for churros and gelato. Chris had a scoop of mint chopped chip, which was delicious. Is it good? And I went for one of their signature loop oh, and scoops with Biscoff gelato and churro dipped in Biscoff glaze and covered in Biscoff crumb. Look at all this huge! It's dripping, I've got to eat it. Look at it, it's massive, look. Oh my gosh. I can't even fit it in the screen. For a quick snack before dinner and a spot of people watching, we nabbed a table outdoors at Innocent Gun on Ashton Lane. Oh my goodness, what are these dogs? Freckles. 
What are they? Freckles. What are they? Freckles. <laughs> What's freckles? It's so Fried freckles. pickles. They're massive. Oh my gosh. Let's have a look in the middle. The freckles were so good and they went really well with their award winning craft lager. For our last meal in Glasgow we couldn't leave without sinking our ashes into some quality Scottish steak. So we headed over to the butcher shop which serves 100% Scotch breed grass fed black angus and limousine steaks and their cuts on the bone are hung and dry aged for a minimum of 45 days. We booked dinner quite late though, so they only had the larger cuts left. We went for our monster 1.3 kilo porterhouse for the two of us. Oh my goodness, that thing was a beast, but we picked it clean. I reckon I managed to get at least 100 grams, which was stuck to the bone. Go on then, and tuck in. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this last place is not a restaurant, but deserves a mention. The breakfast which was included at our hotel was amazing. They have a menu of loads of hot and cold items and they cook everything to order. Ingredients for the full Scottish breakfast are locally sourced and absolutely delicious. And that's all the places we ate at in Glasgow. Thanks for watching and if you try any of the places let me know what you think in the comments. Bon appétit!